What is going on everybody? My name is Brian and welcome to my first solo reaction to Nashville season one episode one called the pilot guys. I have not seen this show. Don't know what it's about. The only thing I know is it's about country music. Um, I did catch the trailer and the only thing I could tell you is it seems like we have a veteran singer musician going up against a younger musician much younger, probably in her 20s. Um, that's all I can really tell you guys about this. Um, I don't know too much about Nashville. All I know is it's about music, and I love music. Um, I love all kinds of music except opera. That's the only thing I can't really get a hold of. I don't, I mean, it sounds beautiful. I just, it's just not me, you know. Uh, again, guys, I don't know much, but I'm excited to see this series. I'm excited to watch it with you guys. And, I don't know. I'm I'm just I just can't wait to see what this show is going to be about. It's called Nashville, which I'm pretty sure Nashville is like the capital of country music. I'm I may be wrong for you country fans out there if you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure Nashville a lot of a lot of talented country artists come from there. So that's where I'm getting at at this. So We'll, I guess we'll have to figure it out and we'll have to see together. Hopefully you guys tune in and hopefully we could grow. We could watch this cha this show together and hopefully we could talk about it in the comments below. If you guys are interested, please feel free. You guys let me know. You guys are important to me. You guys let me know what it is that I need to do better and I, I really appreciate it. If you guys also enjoy uh, watching this series, please make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Also head over to Patreon for the early access videos. Uh, if not, that's completely cool. It's all up to you. In the meantime, let's get this going. Oh, wow. She's got a good voice. You guys know, like, when you see, like, a, a singing movie or, or a singing show, sometimes the main actor or actress, they'll, like, use someone else's voice. She sounds like it's really her voice. She sounds good. I love you. Where in the world would I be without you? You're done good, my little songbird. Uncle Bacon! Please make your appointments, nice to meet man. You too. Mr. James, I have worshipped you since I was a little girl, and not just because Uncle Deacon. I, I know all your songs by heart. You're just so great. Thank she must be a legend. Sure. She must be like. You need anything? She must you don't be huge. To ask, all right? Like a huge country artist. My family. So lovely to meet you. This one doesn't smell like anything. What the hell is wrong with these people? They're just the prototypes. They're all filled with water. Well, I can't tell without smelling the perfume which one I'm gonna choose. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Anybody there? There's nobody there. Oh, wow. Her mom was talking about money. Isn't it part of your job to make sure she does not have my number? This is a new number. Oh, I just shit. changed it. And this benefits me how? Not for you. It's for the label. She's royalty. Just kiss the ring. Tell her you're a big fan. Come on. Let's be manager. So sorry to interrupt. I just, I love your songs and your playing. I have your very first record on vinyl, and I just, it's amazing. It is available in antique stores here and there. <laughs> that one song you did, Been and Gone, is just the most beautiful song. What do we have to talk about? Wow, what a night. What uh oh. A night. This must not be good. I want you to meet Juliet Barnes. She's a big fan of yours. You don't look Mr. like it. White, it is such an honor for me to get a chance to sing for you, Daryl. Oh, thank you. My mama was one of your biggest fans. She said she'd listen to you while I was still in her belly. Well, bless your little heart. That is a charming story. Austin, same thing. Overall, we're at barely a third of where we hope to be by now. So oh, wow, she's losing money in fans. The radio and the press. Raina, we talked about this. One idea is for you to combine tours with Juliet Barnes. You could co-headline. I've been with this record company for 20 years, and this is the best idea anybody can come up with. Raina, I know you don't want to play to half-empty venues, and that's what we're looking at right now. <laughs> She's like, no. <laughs> She's like, not having it at all. With generosity. So that's her father. Unbelievable. On a day like today. She's here now, Maddie. Honor. They must not have a really good relationship. It must be Rocky. Well, I wonder what he is. Is he like the, a mayor or something? No, not the mayor. The other guy was going to run for that for Nashville. wonder what he is. Do it for him. Oh, I know that lady. Well, you guys ever watched Halloween Still, Town? She's in that, that movie. I, I love Halloween to Town. To <laughs> She's like, no, everywhere. Um, Mom, no, Aw. Mama's got a headache. 
<laughs> now look, I get it. It was a lousy father. Damn, so they must be losing money Still like crazy. Is. Mine was a drunk, but it doesn't change the color of his money. You don't know him, Teddy. You think you do, but you don't. Oh, okay, okay. You're right. Maybe I don't. I mean, I respect I respect I you, the, you, the, the this, that's all. Well, Reina. Too. I respect what you're what thinking is, because... So. You you want to do it on your own, like yes, you, you don't want to yes. depend on somebody else. So I f I feel you, Reina. I feel you. It took me a year sifting through hundreds to find those three. I can't just oh. snap my fingers and find a song that'll chart. You know that. You're really in a fix here, hon. I know. Listen, I would love to help you, but um, I've got to finish Julia. Man, she's trying every every scenario just so she could sell out her tour. Position to turn down anything. Everybody keep pretending she's good. She looks mean though. She looks fucking like she looks like she's been through some shit, or she just looks mean. Like that's just her face. I like his voice though. It's really good. Again, guys, I love music, so I'm always gonna possibly just comment on the music as well as the show. So, thank you. Oh, she's crying. That's a great show. No songs I've ever heard. Well, it won't be long for you sitting in that circle. I heard a couple of your demos. You're sounding good, boy. You're sounding real good. Great things are coming to you, Gunner. I want to record it. You do? I do. This week. Will you come play on it with me? Well, what are you trying to do, could, little miss girl? Depending on when. What are you trying to do? You trying to steal? You really trying to steal this guy from, from Raina? Then I'm going to run my own candidate for mayor. That's not an idea without merit. We found someone who's business friendly, who fits nicely in your pocket. Teddy Conrad. She's gonna lose it, Daddy. She's absolutely gonna lose it. <laughs> Dang, so you just as bad as dad. Did you see the wardrobe they pulled? It's crap. They're in New York shopping for you right now. Oh, she probably is difficult to work sorry, with. I'm, um, you know, having a diva dip. Okay, can we talk about a couple things? Go. I told Carlisle's campaign guy that you would do two songs at the announcement, so you just need to tell me what song. I'll think about that. Okay. Now. Dang, they don't even let you know, like, ahead of time. Hey, can you do this? No, you're going to do this. Well, I'm not ready to hang up my rhinestones just yet. And I don't want to do that to the guy. I don't know if they're related. I thought they were brother and sister. They're probably not. We'll keep watching, guys, and we'll figure that out together. In that vein. But the Juliet girl definitely wants to take him from her. Yep. So she wants to ride with me. Oh, she got you in your soft spot. I was wondering why you never cut more of my songs. Oh no. It's so weird. Maybe they were all about me or something. Maybe they had like a maybe they had a thing together, like romantically in the past, but it stood in the past. I can't give you money, Mom. No. Come on, you never help me out. Try to make no, I can't. Why not? Because you're oh, her mom. Wow. It. Okay, it could explain why she's got like this tough, Who is it? this tough attitude all the time. She's probably just hurting deep down inside. Again, she's probably hurting, so she just probably yeah, wants to feel good, you know. Disasters are going to be an issue during a mayoral campaign. No dirty tricks. No rumors. No unnamed sources. If I'm going to run. I have to do it without destroying his family or his reputation. Oh, so he's going to run for mayor. Agreed. That's what he wants him to do. Agreed. If I serve a term or two as mayor, I can write my own ticket and you can stop working. I is that what he told that. you? Oh, I thought she was going to say, that is that what, what he told you? Yeah. I know that I wasn't your first choice. I know you settled for me, but I have been there for you every step of the way. I don't know whose side I would be on right at this very moment. Like, I feel her, but then I see what he's saying, too. Because he sat on the side while she Told had her career do what she wanted to do. Yeah, sometimes I hear music in my head when I'm writing them, but mostly they're just thoughts. But Hang on a minute. Do you play? I know basic chords. Thanks for requiring me. play what you heard when you wrote oh, this. No, 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 I can't. All right, well, you sing and I'll play. That you're not going to support me? Those are your words, not mine. Mm. But still, I need to know your decision. I don't know. To me, it doesn't Maybe sound... It's my decision as it's walking out the door. Oh, wow. So she's not going to do it. 
I don't think it's too bad of an offer though, like. I just wanna know exactly what do you want from Teddy? Cause I know you want something. What I want is for him to pick himself up, dust himself off and get back in the game. Mm -hmm. I cannot believe that you'd further humiliate him after all he has done for you, especially as it relates to little Maddie. Imagine how I oh my gosh. if he knew what you had done. I mean, if I'm on top for 20 something years, honestly, it would not bother me to share the stage with someone that's up and coming, even if I have to open, like, again, I'm not a musician, so I don't, I wouldn't know how that feels, but I mean, I don't know. What do you mean? Don't come here without calling. I told you, I told you, she was just hurting. She just needed that, that feel for the second, you know, I knew, I knew it was nothing. Whoa. I did not see that happening. Oh, this guy who's running for him, he's going to be so pissed because she says she had his support, but now her husband's running against him. So she's probably like, what the hell? Call you later. Oh yeah, that was good. They sound good as hell. She must be hating this shit right now. She, she must be pissed. All right, everyone, and that is Nashville, season one, episode one, the pilot. Guys, we follow Raina here. We follow Raina as a country musician. She's like a legend in the in the music industry. She's she's gotten Grammy. She's gotten uh, CMA awards. She's she's really established in this music game. So we follow her. She's really huge, but we come to find out that her numbers isn't as big as they used to be. She's not as popular as she used to be. So she gets contacted by some of the the labels. I'm pretty sure they're label guys. She she gets uh she talks with the label guys and they're like, "Listen, your your numbers are going down. You're not selling like you used to be. What we have in store, we we have a plan that we want you to join Juliet, which this guy's is Juliet. She's a up and coming country artist and she's really striving. She's really She's really taking off like in the music um, industry. So there, these label guys are like, listen, you're, you're not, your, your name isn't as big as it used to be. Now we don't want to completely close your tour down, but we kind of have to do something. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta do something to keep your fans there. Cause she's losing money. She's, she sold like half the arena when she used to sell out like a bunch back in the day. She's, she's not selling out anymore. And her recent song, although it's a good song, is just not as popular. So these guys have a suggestion. They're like, hey, well, why don't you join Juliet and you guys do a show together? You guys will both code headline, which I never knew code headline guys was a thing. I didn't know that two people could technically close a show. I mean, I, I'm guessing that's what these guys were suggesting. But then <clears throat> we have Raina here who, who asks them. She's like, well, I've been doing this for like 20 years. I'm a legend in this game. Am I closing or am I opening for this young girl? And the guys didn't say anything. The guys, uh, they were kind of quiet, which kind of meant like she might have had to be the opener, which I guess in the music game, that's, I'm not sure if that seems like a sign of disrespect, but I, she took it that way. She, she did not like the idea at all. So they gave her to a time limit to determine what she wanted to do. So they gave her... They gave her like not even that much of a time period, to be honest. They they literally just gave her like the weekend to think about it. And she had to come up with her answer. And I just felt bad. Um, we also have here the Juliet girl who's again, she's an upcoming artist. She, in my opinion, she has a good voice. She sounds really good. Um, and, and we're just following her in the studio. We just get a little glimpse of. How good she is and, and how she sounds. Again, I think she sounds good. Then we come back to Raina here and she's still on the fence. She still doesn't know what she wants to do. She's She has, again, like I said, the weekend to think about it. And she's talking with her, her two little girls who jokingly said they wanted to uh, join their mom on tour. And they played around a little bit and, and sang one of their mom's songs to her just to, you know, 
just to like become a backup singer. I think they were just like goofing with her. And then Juliet's song came on and mom did not like that at all. Um, then we have an interesting moment here where we have an interesting moment where we kind of see Raina, Raina's husband here. We kind of see what he's been through. So Raina has been this huge, giant superstar in the music industry for about 20, 25. No, I think it was 20 to 21 years. And he had a good little saying here saying like, hey, man, I've, I've been on the sidelines. I've, I've been I've been there supporting you through your dream. He's lost a lot of stuff. He he hasn't accomplished nearly half the things that he will he have like set out to accomplish and and he's just upset and you could see it. He he kind of was just saying like it wouldn't be such a bad idea for you to just chill a little bit, you know, and, and not have to go do this music thing so much. Uh we come to find Deacon here. Deacon here also is He's he's also part of a band with Raina and Raina. Um Raina and, and Deacon pretty much formed, in my opinion, a relationship. You kind of have a cool moment back here where they were talking on the bridge. Um, or actually we didn't get to there yet, but again, Deacon here, he he goes to this club, he he kind of does his own little solo thing. Nothing big, nothing fancy. You know, he's a songwriter, he's a he's a musician, so these kind of like environments is probably something that, you know. It's, it's a little relaxing, you know, compared to like the big stage and the the pyrotechnics and the fireworks, you know, whatever, whatever normal tour life comes, you know, it comes with this is like completely the opposite of that. And I feel like maybe this is like a little, a little way for him to, to relax, chill and just, you know, get, get a, a fresh, um, what's the word I'm trying to look for? Just a good, like, fresh breath, like, of air, you know? Like, he just probably needed a little time to himself. Um, After he performs there, he meets with Juliet, which Juliet kind of saw him perform, and she came up with this really cool idea. Well, Deacon in the show is considered one of the best producers, one of the best songwriters, and probably one of the best musicians um, in the show. And I guess Juliet seen that, and she kind of kind of offered him a job she's like hey I want you to join me I want you to become one of my lead guitar players one of my guys soon is going to be gone and it leaves Lincoln in a little bit of a funk he has to think about it he wasn't too sure right here we get a little moment where the father here and the daughter of um uh, Raina's sister and father kind of wanted to get Raina's um husband involved in politics they wanted him to run for mayor so here they're just discussing and and kind of figuring out solutions and ways that they could try to get him to join. Which is a pretty, pretty interesting moment. You kind of see kind of like how Raina's sister is kind of like the dad in a way. You could kind of see that they're kind of like the same person in a sense. So I thought that was very interesting. I like the way that they, they shot that scene as well. Uh, then we got Deacon here and, and Raina here, which again, I think they're longtime friends, maybe lovers at one point. We don't know that for sure. I kind of feel like maybe he, they used to have a thing back in the days, but again, we know Raina has her own husband and she also has two kids with him. So maybe things happened before, but you know, they had to drift away in that sense, but they're good friends. They're still good friends. And pretty much Deacon here talks to Raina and just says, Hey, look, um, you know, I've been loyal to you. I recently just got offered a job. Obviously, it's way more money. But I, I, we're not sure if Deacon actually agreed to do it yet. We just, this is just him pretty much talking to Raina and just letting him know, like, what he feels and what, you know, what, what, what's the offer? Like, what, what was offered to him pretty much. And then that's when we had the moment where he kind of talks to her and says, he says a few little lines there that kind of got me thinking maybe they had something like, back in the days like uh romance kind of like a little love story back in the days between them because again as you guys can see on the screen here it says I lost that a long time ago and I think that's him referring to her they don't kind of say too much about that other than that so we kind of got to put two and two together Raina talks to the manager uh I don't think it's the manager it's just some guy from the label he just pretty much says listen you your time is running out your time's running out you got to decide what you want to do do you want to go on tour with Juliet and not lose a ton of money or go on this tour that most likely won't even finish as in herself her tour that possibly won't even finish it didn't even really sell that much tickets her song was barely 
I mean, barely up there in the charts, which is not very good. And again, like I said, she's she's a vet, so you know, maybe maybe with the times changing, she just needed to maybe she just needs to change in a way. So that's kind of I think that's kind of what the guys at the label are just saying. They're just saying, look, without being disrespectful, you're a legend. We understand that, but we need to have a different kind of like a different kind of voice to hear hear your music, you know, because we got to bring in more of a different kind of crowd, which Juliet kind of does that. She brings in the youth. She, she, I'm not sure if she brings in the older people like how she would, but it, it would benefit them both because she could bring in the like older people and then Juliet could bring the youth in. And then, you know, to me, again, I think it's a good idea, but for her, it's, she doesn't want that. She doesn't want to, she doesn't want to join the tour with them. So we don't know what's going to happen with that. Then Juliet here, we got an interesting moment. Um, I kind of sensed it. I kind of sensed that she does not like her mom. Um, her mom, I, as we kind of see uh, in this episode, is kind of hooked onto drugs. And she's constantly calling Juliet here just for money, just so she could pretty much handle her habit. And, you know, I mean, that's not good. So, you know, I'm pretty sure we could see that Juliet has a, a, a little bit of a, I won't say attitude problem, but you could kind of see the way she kind of is due to possibly that. So she ends up sleeping with this guy, which I kind of figured it was probably nothing. I kind of knew that that's probably not going to turn into anything. The dad here talks to Raina's husband here. And long story short, he's just convincing him. He's like, look, man, we want you to run for mayor. We want you to run against this guy. Um, knowing that it's going to make his wife mad, which is his, which is his daughter, which is Raina, the country superstar, the, the veteran, you know. We knew it was going to make him uh, make her super upset. But long story short, she, he wants to pretty much have her husband run for mayor. And kind of it kind of gets to him. He kind of thinks about it. And he kind of was like, OK, you kind of right. You know, um, it's kind of like I kind of got to do something for myself. Because, again, like I said, he he's kind of been in the shadow of Raina for like 20 something years. He hasn't accomplished really anything that he wanted to for himself. So I feel like. He thinks this is like his perfect opportunity to expand his like and, and, and make himself bigger. You know, that's that's kind of what I'm getting here. So he ends up ends up thinking about doing it. He tells his wife he's going to run and she's t completely upset, as we kind of knew. We knew that was going to possibly happen. But I mean, that's what it is. And then I'm OK, guys, I think this is uh, Raina's niece. If not Raina's, it's Deacon's niece. One of the two. Anyway, she's this this uh this girl here. She's coming from a very musical background, so she writes poems. She writes poems, I guess, just to make her feel good. You know, just about you know it. If whoever has poetry, whoever does poetry, you, you guys tell me what it does to you guys. I mean, I'm sure it's some kind of way of relaxing and just to clear the mind or whatever. So that's kind of what I feel like she does. She just wrote poems. And this guy here, I forgot. I'm not sure who he is yet. Um, I think he's uh, an up and coming artist as well. But he comes, he reads the book. He's like, hey, this is really good. Have you ever thought about making it into music? And she says sometimes she does it. Like um, she, sometimes she creates music in her head as she writes. But she's never really like, like tried to make music. You know, like it wasn't something that she's like sat there and really like tried to do, you know. And the guy just pretty much talks with her and helps her try to figure that out. Raina goes back to the label. The guys talk to her. They're like, listen, it's going to be huge. We need you to either join her or not join her. What is it that you want to do? And if you guys watch the show, I'm pretty sure you guys know what happens next. Raina says, screw you. You guys could kiss my, you know what, as she walks out the door. So it sounds like she doesn't want to do it. She sounds like she does not want to join Juliet, which again, guys, I feel like this is just my opinion. This is just how I would feel. If I was in her shoes, I honestly would be like, okay, I'm not as popular as I used to be. I see the direction you guys want to go. I've done what I've done in this in, in my career. I wouldn't mind taking the second seat and just let this girl shine and, and let her do what it is that you know they want her to do, which I, I would completely understand. But again, this is how she feels. She does not feel that way. She still feels, I guess, as if she's a huge superstar, which she is. She's just just not as big as she used to be at once before. So, again, she was upset. She said she didn't want to join the tour, and she walks out. 
She walks out. She goes to her father's house and she talks to him and she pretty, they just pretty much go at it with each other. She's like, why did you tell my husband like to run things like that? Did you bribe him with money? We don't want your money, things like that. And she was just very upset. So they got into a very heated uh, situation there. Uh, these guys here, again, remember they were practicing with the poetry. Uh, he tricks, he don't trick her, but he pretty much gets her to come up here to sing. They both sing the song that she wrote in the poetry. Good song, by the way, guys. I thought the song was amazing. It was not bad. She sounded good. She had a good voice. Um, remember, guys, I told you that... I told you that she, uh, Juliet, slept with this guy. And as that was going on, I'm like, okay, she's mentally hurt. I don't think this is really going to mean anything. And this pretty much answered what I was thinking. This guy comes to the door. He talks to her and he's like, hey, what's up? Like if he wants to go chill with her or take her out on a date or something. And she gives him this look like, what are you doing? Like, why, why are you here? Which exactly what I thought. She just was hurting. She just wanted to feel good in the moment. And my man over here is left hurt. Uh, I feel bad, but you kind of got, you kind of, you had to see the moment, my man. I mean, I could have told you that she was hurting, that, that whatever was going to happen between us two probably wasn't going to mean anything, but he probably thought it was. So he ended up going there, ends up leaving hurt. But then we found some crazy stuff, guys. Remember Deacon, she offered Deacon the job to work in her band as a lead guitarist. Now, I don't think he was the lead guitarist in Reina's band, but he still had an important role in there. Being a lead guitarist in another band, which this lady is super popular, Juliet, may be very beneficial for him. Also, she did offer to pay him more money, and now they are here together. I was hoping not to see this. I mean, at least not right now. I mean, I don't know what to say. I mean, I don't know how to feel about this right now. I mean, Deacon's like a lot older than she is. I'm guessing she's playing maybe like a... 21 year old we're gonna we're gonna say 21 year old so we're gonna make her legal we're gonna make her like legal for this but still it just looks a little a little strange but i mean that's cool i guess so long story short they end up i guess they end up kissing each other i don't know what that's about and i don't know what's gonna happen after that but Guys, I'm excited about this series. I, I really am. Again, um, I love the music. I thought the music was really well. It was written good. The songs were performed well. The acting was good. I love uh, Connie. I, I just know her by her first name, Connie. Um, if you guys seen her in Friday Night Lights, that's where I, I know her from. That's where I've seen her from. She's awesome in that show. And that's kind of the reason why I kind of got into this show. Because of her, I think she's an amazing actress. Plus music. You can't go wrong with that. And... um. Uh, overall, guys, I like to say I give this show, I, I rate this show possibly a nine. I think it was a great episode. Again, um, I love the music. I love the acting. I like the story so far. I'm really invested and I kind of can't wait to see the next episode, guys. And if you guys are excited with me, hopefully I can see you guys next, the next episode. And until then, I'll see you guys later.